Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful updates. Today, we have some significant news regarding Iraq's gas reserves, the country's budget situation, and intriguing developments in non-oil revenues. Starting with a major update from Iraq's oil minister, Hain Abdul Ghani. He recently confirmed that Iraq's current gas reserves stand at 128 trillion cubic feet, but there is potential for these reserves to increase to over 200 trillion cubic feet. The expansion of gas exploration, particularly in the western regions of Iraq, could lead to the country achieving self-sufficiency in gas. The minister hinted that Iraq might even transform into a gas exporting nation in the near future. To capitalize on these opportunities, Iraq is planning a visit to the United States to present these exploration areas to specialized American companies. The aim is to attract investment that will help in harnessing these vast gas reserves. This is an exciting development that could significantly boost Iraq's energy sector and its overall economy. Moving on to the budget situation. There's been some frustration due to the ongoing delays. For eight months, the Iraqi budget has been described as held hostage, which has impacted the country's financial planning and operations. However, there's some positive news as well. Prime Minister's advisor recently announced an increase in non-oil revenues compared to previous years. This is a critical development because it suggests that Iraq is slowly diversifying its economy, moving away from its heavy reliance on oil. The increase in non-oil revenues is massive as it could enhance the country's economic stability and improve the value of the Iraqi dinar. In related financial news, the Central Bank of Iraq has been actively managing its currency printing activities. After months of reducing the amount of printed currency, the bank recorded its lowest level in March 2024. However, since April 2024, the currency issuance has been on the rise again, with a rapid increase of 6 trillion dinars in just five months. This has raised concerns about a liquidity crisis especially as the government faces increasing spending needs for salaries and investment projects. The significant rise in the printed money supply, which reached 104 trillion dinars last July, has sparked discussions about the potential impact on the economy, particularly in terms of inflation and the value of the dinar. Lastly, there's been some talk about lower denominations of currency in Iraq. 13 banks are now set up to handle exchanges, indicating that the country might be preparing for some significant changes in its currency system. This could be an essential step towards further stabilizing the economy and enhancing the value of the dinar. These updates highlight Iraq's efforts to strengthen its economy through diversified revenue streams and strategic partnerships, particularly in the gas sector. The country's progress in managing its currency and budget, despite challenges, shows a determination to build a more robust economic foundation. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you think Iraq is on the right path to economic stability? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more insights into Iraq's economic journey.